Yeah. Anthony Richmond and his personal trainer, Jacob Johnson, are fighting to become the yeah. best version of themselves. The black men that I know focus a lot on taking care of business, taking care of their families, taking care of their wives, being a provider, being a protector. Absolutely. <laughs> it's important for me to be around long enough, have the energy, have the strength. Taking care of ourselves actually helps us do that better and for longer. But fellas, let's be honest. When did you last see the doctor? Probably about a year ago. Are you sure? Maybe a year and a half. <laughs> I, um, I had my last physical, I think it was a couple years ago. I don't go to the doctor regularly. Yeah, it's been a while. I don't really like doctor. I don't like going to the doctor. I try to avoid going to the hospital to take pills. Um, just something I'm not really into. Well, hold on, now hold on. I have a, I do check my blood pressure regularly. I'm not against going to the doctor. I, I mean, if I'm honest, you know, it's not always feasible and healthcare is sometimes it's not always affordable. African-American men are 30% more likely to die from heart disease than white males. Diabetes is the fifth deadliest disease in the U.S., and black men will face an epidemic of diabetes by the year 2050. Oh, and by the way, 36% of black men are obese, a stat Johnson knows well. The heaviest I got on the scale was 390 pounds. 18 years later, that weight is gone, and he advocates for healthy lifestyles 24-7. Two more. Often sharing his story and family history. For example, he talks about his grandfather. He had four heart attacks over his lifetime. He had diabetes. And because of Johnson's family history, he faces another health challenge. One doctors call the silent killer, but he's not alone. Turns out researchers say some African-Americans carry a gene, putting them at greater risk. Not yet, we'll do one set without weights. Adrian's going to take a closer look at that gene and why it puts black people more at risk for hypertension. And that's going to be tomorrow at 10 in the Care 11 News Extra.